Hey, what's up guys? Hope you all are having a great day. Today in this video, I'll be building or making my own stream deck using a spare keyboard. You may think it is a ripoff version of Nutty's video, but no. After Nutty's video, there has been a drastic updates or changes in OBS, where they updated the web sockets, protocols, and user interface of OBS, which is causing issues. And I will solve it in this video. So like or dislike the video, comment your thoughts in comment section, so YouTube algorithm can recommend my videos to the other people. So first download these two applications known as HID Macros and Noobs Commander. And extract it and run both application or software in the administration mode for the first time. After that open your OBS and go to the tools tab. After going to the toolbar, I enabled the WebSocket server and password authentication and copied the IP address, port number and password and pasted it in the noobs commander and tried to connect it but the software stopped responding. I tried it multiple times but it didn't work. So I researched about the WebSocket working and how it is used. Three hours later. So I got to know that the WebSocket in OBS version 28.0.2 is updated to WebSocket version 5 which follows very different protocol compared to the WebSocket 4.9.1. After knowing that, I searched about implementing the WebSocket 4 application in WebSocket 5 and after 3 hours of intensive research, I found out a way to implement the WebSocket 4 in OBS version 28 in a secure way. After getting a solution, I asked Matty through comment section to upgrade the noobs commander to WebSocket 5. To implement the WebSocket 4.9.1, you need to download the files from the GitHub and thanks to TT2468 to providing the resources. Once downloaded, extract and copy both folders where the OBS is installed. After copying the files, restart both the noobs commander and OBS. And if in case Nutty updates the noob commander, I'll inform you in the description or in the pin comment. And you can export the scene from the OBS and reinstall the OBS to enable the WebSocket file and import the scenes as shown in the video. <laughs> After restarting the OBS, disable the WebSocket 5 in the tools bar. It may promote multiple error messages, just ignore it or cancel it. After that, once again go to the tools bar and select WebSocket Server Settings, Forex Compact and enable the WebSocket Server and Authentication. After enabling, open the Noob Commander application or software and press Connect. No need to input the server port and IP address, but make sure to input the password. Once it is connected, select Select scene and export the VBS file to a folder and make sure you don't move the folder. After exporting, open HID Macros application and make sure to use the spare keyboard as it can distinguish between keyboards to avoid interference. Once the HID macro is opened, select new, enter the name and scan a trigger button to trigger scenes and select run application and select the VPS file. If the VPS file is not visible, choose all application. Make sure to keep the HID macro software opened while you are streaming or recording. If the app is closed, you cannot use the keyboard as a stream deck or a trigger button and that's it for the video hope you had learned something new today and like or dislike the video and comment your thoughts in the comment section so youtube can recommend my videos to the other people and i have a gaming channel known as geek Plus. so if you love gaming or if you like to see streams welcome to the gaming channel and peace